G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. Up there we have a cloud. And uh, we've had cloud most of the morning, but we've got a little bit of a, a blue hole here. So I thought I'd set up the second attempt at a solar powered coffee percolator. Yesterday I mucked around with this, but I had it uh, too high. Good for clearing shadows, but not so good for actually working on. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy to adjust so that you get the hot spot on the bottom. And uh, as the sun rises in the sky, the hot spot moves across the bottom uh, to correct for azimuth. The whole thing can turn on its central pillar. Uh, easy enough to line things up. So we've got in theory 353 watts of sunlight running into an elliptical that's from the top it's elliptical it's an offset parabolic dish reflector so that side is steeper than that side and the satellite dish already has this altitude mounting, that's what it's called technically astronomically, and this would normally be vertically mounted, and this square tube would carry a waveguide, and as you can see I've amputated the waveguide with a hacksaw. Here's the, uh, the amputated part. And when you take the uh, plastic cap off, you're going to get a look in there. There we go. So we have two little pins at 90 degrees to each other, separated by a horizontal bar. And uh, that gives you an idea of the actual radio focus of the dish. And by applying aluminium foil, you can change the frequency that the dish reflects. It's not a perfect mirror. A perfect mirror has an albedo of 100% or 1.00. I'd say this has probably got an albedo of somewhere between 0.95 and 0.97. So, you know, we may have 93% of 353 watts hammering into the bottom of the coffee pot. And uh, because one does need to track the sun and change the angle of a dangle, but the coffee pot needs to be kept fairly vertical, we have this turnbuckle here. And by adjusting the turnbuckle we can adjust the base of the coffee pot. Now okay theoretically the hot spot's probably going to focus up here but if all of that sunlight impinges around here it all gets into the coffee pot and I have a couple of modifications in mind. I mean you've already got three adjustment holes which were pre-drilled by whoever made this machine as a satellite dish but uh, I figure I can come up with a replacement for the old waveguide mounting which will be made out of sheet aluminium roadside grade and uh, I should be able to fit more or less any kind of a saucepan or a fry pan and it's a pretty good height to work on so for those of you who are looking at life without any source of cooking heat, 
because you've lost your power grid because there's another storm coming for the east coast of the excited states of Norte Americano, may I suggest this could get you out of trouble. Um, when I've got it finished to the point where we've got an aluminium brace and I've got it functioning with several different kinds of pots I'll make a more detailed video but uh, this one's just standing on a couple of thin steel pipes which are actually the framework of a set of camping style bunk beds something like this one the, uh, the one my kids grew up with for the first half of their lives had hessian base supports and the hessian rotted out and the only place and the only way you could get a hold of new covers for the beds was to buy a whole new bed it was cheaper and basically I've cut one off there and uh, I've cut another one off about there and then I've hammered the end of it into the ground so it doesn't go in far but it does provide a bit of a pivot support this is a metal frame from about a 1970s vintage bathroom stool that used to have a purple fluffy top on it. I've bent these out to increase the footprint of the quadrupod and that's a bit of tie wire. So we have uh, two bits of a bunk bed, one old stool and uh, I've actually had to add a piece of the bunk bed there one satellite dish 29 by 26 inches one probably about a quarter of a roll of aluminium foil one eleven dollar packet of contact cement and uh, as you can see rotating this or tracking it changes all of the angles and to get the coffee percolator working right as I said it should be base vertical so yeah the idea is to set up a triangulated system bearing on here bolted onto here I'm going to take that bolt out and put it through that way with a pair of aluminium plates and uh, I think it should be moderately functional uh, we've actually got some water vapor appearing in the glass and uh, yeah it's it's getting pretty hot it's been set up in this you know, there was the blue hole we started with and this is the fuzzy cloud we've actually got at the moment so I would say maybe less than half an hour of clear blue sky and you'd have a cup of coffee actually perking so We'll call that <coughs> the Sunfire Mark II. Warbles on a lot to the YouTube community. Reuse, recycle. Yeah? Ciao.